Hello everyone, today is maintenance day. Um, <laughs> this is, uh, I think, I think we're around maybe two and a half years since we last did this. We are going to uh, clean out the filter on the Becker pump. And this time, compared to last time, we are going to check the veins on this oilless pump and see if they need replacing. We'll get out the calipers and check everything on it and see what's going on with it. Um, one thing I'm worried about, this is probably maybe still under the operational hours it says to inspect the veins, but I have found out after finding documentation from Becker on their pump that this pump was not really installed correctly into the machine per their recommendations. Um, it is supposed to have one way or a check valve after this little part right here going out to the purge tank. There should be a one way valve to prevent air from being sucked back through the pump into the tank when, when it wants to equalize the pressure again once you shut the pump off. You don't want the veins to be able to spin in the opposite direction according to Becker. And that happens when you shut this machine off, that free wheels as air is being drawn back in and everything. And that's not what they recommend for uh, wear on stuff. And so I'm a little concerned on where we're at, how we stand with the veins. So we're gonna kind of check this maybe earlier than it needs to, but I'm a little worried. So we may get new veins for this and we may get a check valve or one-way valve installed on this as well to prevent any um, excessive wear or damage to the system. So let's start taking off this cover. We're gonna be taking off the cover right here. If you saw our previous video a few years ago and there's a few uh, bolts down here that we'll have to take off and then this cover pops off. And the first thing we'll see is the uh, filter area and everything. And then there's a little bit more work to pop off stuff to get to the actual veins on the pump. For those keeping score at home, it is a uh, seven sixteenths, or no, sorry, three sixteenths hex head or Allen wrench to get the two bolts off. And then we're gonna have two more to get this cover off here. And that will get us access to the filter. And then I forget what's after that. So we'll have to see as we go along here. All right, we got that off. <clears throat> and as you can see here, this is actually almost duplicate of how it was. I don't know, was it two and a half, three years ago? A lot of dirt down in there. We'll take the air hose and spray this filter out. It doesn't look horrible, I don't think. We'll try and get away with using it some more. And then we see in here, I think the little tappy tap trying to get things off because it was so stuck kind of tore up the gasket a little bit. We might look into seeing get a new gasket. I think those are like... Uh, about 30 bucks, I believe, something like that. I don't remember off their website. Um, not a huge deal, but now we have four bolts, one there, one there, one way over there, and one there. Should get this part off, and we should now have access to the veins. So we'll see in a little bit. Okay, there's what the opposite side of it looks like and the wear that's on there. I... Don't really know if you should clean that off or not. I don't know what the best practice on that is. But we're gonna now take a look at the veins over here and we can see them, all seven of them that are in there. They look nice and shiny. They're, they've been wearing on the side of that piece that I just showed you, obviously to keep a nice seal and everything. So. We've got the um, information here that says to, to measure it. And we want a minimum of, because we have a 4.16, uh, we want a minimum of 21 millimeters on there. So we'll take a look and see what we've got. We got one of the veins out and we will end up taking all of them out here just to verify the condition, all of, all of them, make sure there's no big chips or anything in any of them. But this first one I grabbed looks, uh, pretty good I'd say that looks uh, pretty respectable I don't see any big chips taken out of the edge here at all so uh, we'll get the calipers here and take a look uh, we got our trusty Fowlers not the cheap Chinese for Harbor Freight junk 
because these are Swiss quality. Not Swiss made, but Swiss quality, yeah. How's that a marketing wank for you right there? Let's see here, and we are on the almighty millimeter. We'll get a good 35. Wow, I don't know what they are standard length, but uh, that's another couple of years, right, out of it? I don't know. All right, so we looked at the spec sheet on this, and given that these are 35 millimeter, uh, which says is the maximum height on these, actually a little bit more than what they say, according to the manual, this is um, hardly worn at all, I guess which seems amazing to me because I we may not be at 3,000 hours, but we're, you know, well over half of that and everything. So that is uh, pretty crazy that these have only worn that much and everything. So I guess kudos to Becker for that because that's pretty good. I don't know what people most people use for veins if they're buying the Becker ones or they're buying some cheap knockoff ones, but for us, the Becker ones, the original ones, seem to be pretty good. We'll check, like I said, we'll check the rest of these veins and see how they are. But off the bat, I'd say this is pretty darn good. I, I don't mind this. We have to also make sure when we put this back in, we get the angle correct so that we aren't going the wrong direction with that slope on the vein. So we've got the second one out. That one looks really good as well. It's got that same weird discoloration in the exact middle. I, I'm assuming there must be something inside the pump that that uh, in that that spot does that particular wear pattern in there, but it looks pretty good. Um, let's uh, we'll get the calipers out and see what we've got here. But I don't see any reason why this won't be probably pretty close to the same. Yeah, thirty five. Whoops, third. Sorry, there. Thirty five point four thing. You know, sort of in there. That's pretty. Yeah, that's right where we should be so that's looking really good I'm, I'm glad we won't have to spend 300 bucks on veins right now I'm, I'm really happy about that and uh there's a little bit of wear stuff maybe on this side that's I have to look at that other one again too and see where it's wearing inside there but uh see if they all look similar because this slides up and down in the thing as it centrifugal force flings it out as it's rotating around but uh, I would say right now that doesn't look half bad. All seven of them, and none of them were less than 35.4 in height. So I think we're good to go. We'll put the cover over here back on that. Then that cover, after we clean it out and we air out the filter, you can see he's after dropping it on the th thing there, some dust came out of the filter. So we definitely need to air that out. Put the shroud back on and we are all set and i happened when i was looking at the minimum maximum specs that they mentioned in the manual for this online uh, i see that there's a noise deadening box you can put take, i guess put this in that at some point was an option i can't find it on their store for sale but i thought that that almost be a nice thing to have i don't know how that uh, handles the heat and and stuff and efficiency on it but man that would be kind of nice in some some ways but We'll get it all back together and that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's amazing. I think we're probably good at least to check on the veins for another probably two years, I would bet, at this stage. And then uh, as much as we're running it, if we start to run it a lot more, we'll have to check it again sooner. But yeah, that's pretty good. Those seem just about brand new as far as I can tell for specs on it. So we're good for quite a while, I think. The probably is just the uh, filter is the only thing we want to check maybe even more often than we are right now. Maybe at least once a year we should be probably checking that filter out according to their manual and everything on stuff. And uh, we should be good uh, on that. It's saying about every 200 hours, which, yeah, that's definitely less than, <laughs> less than a year. But, uh, yeah, but to getting to it is such a pain. They could have made that a little easier. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.